Hi everyone, my name is Simge Tarhan. I'm a master's student in political management. I'm originally from Turkey. I was um, born and raised in Ankara, the capital city, and I went to college in Istanbul. I lived in Istanbul, uh, Istanbul for four years. And um, today I'd like to share uh, some hints with you before your trip to Turkey. So you're gonna be there at a very interesting time. Uh, the first ever presidential elections um, will be held the day after um, you leave on August 10th. Before this year, um, the president was always elected by the parliament. Uh, and this time, uh, it's going to be by popular vote for the first time. Um, so it's definitely an exciting time to be there. And you also picked uh, quite a nice um, time of the year to be in Istanbul. Um, the weather is going to be very similar to Washington. It's going to be quite humid uh, and um, warm. Um, you might want to bring some layers with you in the nighttime. It gets a little chilly. Um, you won't be spending too much time in Ankara, but it's much drier and it's likely to be much warmer as well. Um, so you might want to be uh, ready for that. And um, in the professional setting, I don't think you're going to see a lot of difference between Turkey and the U.S. So when you meet uh, with people in a professional setting, just go for a firm handshake. Um, and um, I'm guessing a lot of the people you're going to be meeting will be uh, fluent in English, so you won't have any uh, problems at all. Um, so, um, so that's the professional side. Don't expect really different things. Um, it's going to be very similar to what you already are familiar with. Uh, in terms of uh, social stuff, um, I think a lot of you, perhaps you know, all of you, will uh, enjoy your time in Istanbul. Um, one thing that's important to keep in mind is um, that people are extremely friendly. Hospitality uh, plays a big role in the Turkish culture. Um, however, there are some differences. One thing you might notice right away is that uh, people's sense of personal space is going to be different. Um, there's usually a lot of touch uh, touching going on when people talk, especially if they feel friendly. Um, they're going to be standing much closer to you in, you know, um, public transportation or on the streets than what you would uh, be familiar with living in the U.S. And they might touch you on the back or, or shoulders, but, you know, it's all uh, the Mediterranean uh, stuff, really. So that's one thing, um, you know, that might be good to keep in mind. Um, most people will not speak English, uh, but the young, uh, the young people are actually um, quite fluent in English, so you shouldn't have any problems. If you get lost in, on the streets, then you know, just approach uh, younger people. They're much more likely to speak English, and they would all be very helpful, and you know, they would try their best to help you out. Um, and if you learn a few Turkish words, then all uh, Turks would love you for that. Um, they really like people trying to, you know, speak Turkish. So, you know, a couple of words like hello, goodbye, thank you, uh, things like that in Turkish um, would uh, be really appreciated. Um, another important thing is uh, traffic. I strongly recommend that you do not attempt to drive in Turkey. Um, it's really um, chaotic. Um, compared to D.C., and I, th I think D.C. is one of the most chaotic places to drive in in the U.S., uh, at least compared to other places that I've lived, um, but still, you know, it's not going to be anything uh, even remotely uh, similar. So do not attempt to drive, and uh, as a pedestrian, make sure that you're extremely careful. And um, pedestrian crossings usually don't mean anything. And it's always uh, best if you assume that right away it always belongs to the cars and not to ped pedestrians. Um, so you know, double check uh, cars coming uh, from both sides and um, you know, uh, make sure that you're extremely careful. Um, so traffic is not the strong suit of uh, uh, Turkey and Istanbul in particular. Apart from that, um, 
what you're gonna love, I, I think, is the food. If you're a foodie, then uh, you will never want to leave Turkey in Istanbul. Um, they have amazing food. And um, I would strongly recommend that you try some uh, kebabs. There are various kinds of kebabs. And um, veggies, especially in the summer, uh, are going to be really good. Um, you can try to get some fresh veggies. Uh, tomatoes are um, just, you know, awesome. And um, I would also recommend that you have some fish. Um, and there are also other things you might want to try, like sweets baklava and many other uh, things and I would certainly recommend that you um, get a taste of Turkish coffee after a really big meal that's the best thing to drink and you will um, you will see people drinking tea all the time and I bet even if you're not a tea drinker you'll be drinking a lot of tea uh, while you're there um, and there are you know um, national alcoholic beverages uh, you might want to give them a try to uh, Raku is the uh, most uh, commonly known one um, just be careful with it it's kind of strong um, I would certainly recommend that you get quite adventurous when it comes to food um, I don't think you would have uh, problems if you eat at restaurants um, you might want to avoid street food for the most part um, Another thing I would certainly recommend is that you spend some time by the Bosphorus. And what you can do is you can actually go to these breakfast places. And Turkish breakfast is something to uh, experience. So you might want to sit down and have Turkish breakfast by the Bosphorus. They have amazing views. And one of the best views of the Bosphorus is actually from the campus of my alma mater, Boğaziçi University, which uh, used to be Robert College, um, the first American college outside the US. Um, it has amazing views of uh, the Bosphorus, so you might want to check that out. Um, another thing you can do on the Bosphorus is to go on boat trips. So you can actually take uh, this um, boat, which would take you to pretty much all the interesting places along the Bosphorus. It takes quite a long while, but you can actually hop on and off. Uh, and uh, discover new places uh, along the Bosphorus. I would certainly recommend that. In terms of um, touristy places, um, one of my favorite places is the Top, uh, Topkapı Palace. Uh, then of course there's Hagia Sophia, Blue Mosque, um, Grand Bazaar, the Spice Market, and you're lucky because a lot of these things are actually very close to one another. Another place I would certainly recommend that you visit is the um, Basilica Cistern. It's just beautiful and um, it's quite uh, cool down there um, so it's underground um, so if it's a really hot day then that might be a really good uh, place to check out um, and um, if you're really serious about the touristy stuff though um, i would strongly recommend that you invest in a good travel guide um, or do extensive research because you will be overwhelmed by the number uh, of things to see and a number of things to do in Istanbul. So I wish you all a pleasant trip. Uh, I, I'm sure you're going to have a blast and I hope you will like uh, Istanbul as much as I do. Thank you.